Are you ready for your birthday? I hate myself for that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> First question is, what are, so, or what are some things that you love about James? James, I love your love for the middle schoolers. I think it's very contagious, and that same love um, I see in worship, and you're just so excited to do it. Um, just your text that you give me, and you're like, hey, just want to check in, and I'm super excited for worship. It's awesome. And I also just love your tenacity for um, when it comes to just pursuing Christ and wanting to get to know him more. I think that's just so awesome. Yeah. Some of the things I love about James is that he has a really kind and caring heart and is super compassionate and will just do you like favors without even you needing to even ask him. He'll just do them and he's just so caring that way. So some things I love about James are his um, love for people, first of all. His, like, his love that, that Christ has given him um, to just connect with people. The way he can connect with people um, and just care for them in an amazing way. It's like, uh, it's just like inspiring for me um, as a fellow Christian um, to really just be more outgoing and be more friendly with people. Um, and then another one is his sense of humor. Um, I think James is hilarious and I love the way he uses humor um, to just convey just this joy that he has in his life. So I think that's just the best thing. That's pretty easy. I mean, he's hilarious super kind, super helpful, and I mean, look at this dude. He is always there for you when you need him. He's, he's like sacrificing, he'll do anything to like hang out with you, which is pretty cool. Um, he'll, he'll just always know what to say. Like, he's just so helpful and encouraging and it, it's awesome to see, like, it's honestly just it's, it makes me so happy that I have him in my life because that, it, he makes me smile when I feel down, and yeah. He's always, like, very encouraging. Like, you'll see James and he'll almost always, like, be smiling or happy, and if you say anything, like, bad about yourself, like, He'll shut that down like immediately and he'll really just like lift you up. One of the things that I love most about you, James, is your vocabulary, which I know is very random, but that is because that we bonded over that. When I first started getting to know you, we like always talked about the good vocab words. So whenever I hear a good vocab word, I always think of you. And I don't know, like, you know, it's you have a special place in my heart with vocab words, which I know is weird, but it means more than I can communicate. Well, things I love about James, he's very caring. Time. Knows how to have a good time. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, uh, he's just a great person overall. You know, he's a that you can talk to if you want. And, uh, yeah. All right. Some things I love about James is his heart. Um, for loving on people and being there uh, for everyone. Especially when we went to Disneyland, you were caring, compassionate, loving, and just, just there. You're a good friend, you're loyal, and you're faithful. And so, uh, I don't know, those things I love about you. Some of the things I love about you, James, is just how much genuine compassion you have for other people. How um, you're willing to go out of your way to do things and care about people. Um, you're willing to do so much for people. You're willing to um, just talk to them and just willing to listen um, through whatever they're going with. Um, I love um, being able to, we're able to like have a lot of fun and just joke around, but also we're able to get, um, we're also able to have super um, serious conversations too um, about what we're going through. And it's just been an absolute pleasure um, growing and having you as a friend beside me, um, growing together in Christ. And I've just, um, it's been amazing um, seeing how much you've grown over the past couple of years. So. Um, you've been an absolute um, blessing in my life. What would be your favorite memory with James? Hmm. Well, we were coming back from Mexico last year. Probably look at this dude and seeing your TikTok. My favorite memory of James is in Mexico after they had the reenactment of Jesus dying on the cross and everything was so uh, impactful and intense. 
after that they just let us go out and think about it and me and James just walked over and sat down and talked about it and just really helped me think about it in a better way and just yeah he's always there and it's great but yeah it was at the uh, lock-in when we're just all stupidly tired and then all of a sudden James starts uttering the word surfer Dan says stay hydrated so you can be totally radical and it was just the funniest thing there are so, so, so many memories, James. Um, and we have so many laughs, um, so many like ridiculous inside jokes. Oh my goodness, but they're great. And um, let's see. But uh, we're, all the time is worship. Worship has been awesome. And um, but I had to pick one, right? So I've chosen the banana incident. If you know, you know. And. <laughs> So, yeah, let's see, we, we decided we wanted to get like a cartoon-like video um, of someone slipping on a banana, and you did it a few times, and you were pretty good, and it was great. Then it's my turn, and um, yeah, <laughs> I actually did slip on the banana, and yeah, ouch. <laughs> but, yeah, that was great, we had a good laugh, it was good. Um, in the car ride to Mexico, when we did all those road work ahead signs, and I got to 177. That had to be like such just like an amazing time. Yeah, taking him to the Creole restaurant in downtown Disney with Calvin and us just him trying beignets from the first time because his face lit up when he ate it first. He was like, "Whoa, this is so good! It has no right to be this good!" And it was just, it was really funny to watch him just eat it. And yeah. I talked to Pokemon Go with him. That was fun. Love going around and walking around with him. Just having a good time. And just in general church, just having him around is great. Just lifting up everyone else's spirits, just being a joy and just being so, you know, there for us. So my favorite memory of James was when uh, we went to Santa Cruz together. It was the first time that I got to hang out and hear some of your humor and banter back and forth. And uh, it was really incredible to get to know you a bit more uh, during that whole trip. James, I should be honest, one of my favorite memories with you is announcements. I love making a fool out of myself with you up in front of like 25 middle schoolers. I don't think there's anything more that I like to do with you than that. So my favorite memory with James is definitely really difficult to come up with just because I've had so many funny moments with you, James, but um, it'd probably have to be just like um, how going from Android to an iPhone is an upgrade, or how um, you literally have the horses in the back um, in MASH, but um, yeah, like you, I've just had like so many moments where you've just made me absolutely die of laughter, and um, I just, like you're just such a, you're such a joy, joyous person to be around. What are some words that you'd use to describe James? Uh, James, you're compassionate, loving, caring, and giving. Shrewd. Big nig, big, 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 Gucci. Kosher. What are some words that you'd use to describe James? Yes. <laughs> Why are you still holding? So happy birthday, James. Um, I just wanted to make you this video just to, um, just for um, you, just to know how much we love you, how much we care about you, um, but also to let you know that um, you're loved by God and to never forget your identity as a child of God, um, how you're loved by him, you're pursued by him, and you're chosen by him. Um, yeah, and with that, I just wanted to say just happy birthday, man. Hey, guys. 
Could you guys like whisper? Whisper. Thank you. Why are you saying? Oh, that really hurt. Okay, not gonna do that. Wait, okay. Can I just start by saying, "Are you ready yeah. for your birthday?" That'd be okay. So, that's okay. okay. It's gonna be cringy, but I'm gonna do it. Okay. Oh shoot, I was filming that entire thing. Gosh, what a gorgeous man. And oh shoot, um, I was filming. What is my favorite memory of James? One. You better be able to cut this out and post, but anyway. You wanna hear a joke about editors, dude? Editors are so stupid. <laughs>